Hey everyone, when you are exploring your reports in Power BI service, you are essentially doing it in one of the two modes. Either you are doing it in the edit mode or you are doing it in the reading mode. So we will explore the options available with the read mode as of today. So let's start. I am already logged into the Power BI service and I am in one of my workspaces so I will head there and I will click on reports and I will open the reports and it essentially opens the report in read only mode. And what are the options available to me here? So I will start from the left hand side which is the file. So it gives me an option to save this um, report as another, so it's I could save it in another workspace or save this in the same workspace with a different name. I could print the current page. It gives me, so if I click on the embed option, it gives me uh, the code which I can use to embed this report in a website or a portal. But just a caveat that if you've got some content which is, um, you don't want it to be shared publicly or you've got some form of restricted access, it's best not to use this option. Because once a report is published uh, publicly, all that data that's sitting in the report or vi visible via the report is accessible via that website. It gives you an option to embed the report in the Power BI SharePoint. You can publish the report to the web. You can export it to PowerPoint. You can save it as a PDF. You can download the report. So this one will essentially download the report as a PBIX file. So these are a few of the options available under the file mode. Now let's go on to the view mode. So you can fit, fit you can change or the how it gets viewed on your, on your machine. So it could be your uh, mobile or it could be your desktop. So you can fit it to page, you can do the fit to width, you can push it back to the actual size. You can look at the selection panes. So if you toggle this selection pane on, it will show you what are the various visuals and then you can select various visuals. You can see the bookmarks which are available in this report by toggling this to on. Uh, you can edit the report, but we'll talk about the edit report option in a separate pane. And then if you select a visual, so at the moment this one is coming as um, a disabled, but let's say if I go and click on this uh, pie chart on here, it automatically becomes available. So it gives us the options and you can say it is, it, you can show it as a table, you can sh show next level, expand to next level, drill up, drill down, drill through. So depending on the visual you select and what are the options available with that particular visual, the options will either be grayed out or you'll have some options on here. You can refresh your report, so it will uh, refresh the data, the underlying data. Uh, you can pin a live page to a dashboard. Uh, you can reset to default view. So um, let's say you're playing around with your report and you've made and it, it you moved away from whatever is the default view. You can click on reset to default view to go on there. You can uh, sh create comments on this Power BI uh, dashboard or Power BI report and those will become visible. So it gives you the option to, so let's say you're collaborating with somebody else to uh, make changes to your report and you make the changes and then you can add them in the comment and say, hey, I've made this change, can you have a look? And they can come back and make those, either accept it or or they could look at some numbers and say that, can you please give, give me additional data around this? So it's just a way to collaborate around your reports. You can create bookmarks, which is a fairly useful feature. You can look at the usage metrics to see how many times the report has been accessed at what times. View related option will show you what are the dashboards which are dependent on this report and what are the data sets on which this report depends. You can mark the report as a favorite, you can subscribe. So you can create a subscription so you get a mailer on this particular report page. So that is an option. You can share the report with somebody else. Uh, within your organization. If you've got a premium capacity, you can probably share it with uh, people outside of your organization as well, but with a pro license, you can share it with people within your organization. Then you've got an option to generate the QR code. So it will essentially generate the QR code and you can scan that code and access the report via your mobile. And you can analyze this uh, in Excel. So if you uh, click on this option, it will essentially give you the ability to analyze the underlying uh, data model in Excel. So in this video, we've basically covered the various options available in the read mode in the Power BI service. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.